Welcome to the Football Today podcast previewing Euro 2024 in Germany. I'm your host, Alex Donnelly. Across these next two shows, we'll be taking you through all the groups, the previews, the prognostications, and everything else in between. As always, joined by the stats guy who's seemingly forgotten that America isn't in Europe. Oh, I'm, I'm glad that I've been able to watch America. I just like this little kid. It looks a bit more international than some of my other ones. So I thought I'd chuck it on. <laughs> it's the Chicago oh, Fire. You can't see that. You can't sure. see that. It says it on the back. You can't really see it. It's just a nice kid, all right? A bit of, bit of Best Buy, no, not a sponsor. But anyway, and one guy who came prepared to work, yes. Marcus. <laughs> Germany, Euros. <laughs> yeah, see, hosts, he's done. I'm in a Tilly time hat, though. It's pretty Special. cool. That is actually nice. It is, it is very cool. You're ready to play beach cricket. I also got stuff. yelled at like by not wearing collared shirts as a host uh, previously, so i got oh. to start trying. Who said that? That's best boy. Certain hire oh. uh, in the company. Anyway, Adam. before we get into it, please make sure you subscribe <laughs> to our YouTube channel. It wasn't him. Uh, subscribe across all the socials. Give us a like across all that. So what is it? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And X, and of course, as I said, YouTube. We've got a bunch of other shows as well. AFL today, hold all tickets, cricket today. The boys are doing plenty of World Cup work at the moment, Absolutely. so good yep. stuff. As I said, today we're going to break down groups A, B, and C. Then we're going to take a break, and in the second show to be released later in the week, groups D, E, and F, where we will give our overall winner and just a breakdown of who we think will be good, bad, indifferent, everything else, as well as maybe saying who's going to win Golden Boot, Golden, what is it, Golden Boy. Whatever yeah, they're Golden Boy. Yeah. They have yeah. weird names, yeah. Anything. Anyway, but we always start off football today with a yeah. Nah, it seems quite poignant to bring it up given they played in a friendly. So we're recording this on the 4th of June. England played in a friendly this morning against Bosnia. Will England bring football home? Yeah, nah. Whoa, no. Nah. nah. <laughs> it's too easy to say that. They're the nah. favourites, I think, for the first time ever in like a major tournament. Or, seems wild. or in my lifetime, I, I'm pretty sure they've never been favourites, which surprises yeah. me. <laughs> I just don't think they're going to get past the the uh, semis or something like that, okay. which we'll get into. Yeah, yeah I don't I'm think they're going to bring it home. I feel like they've definitely got the squad. Mm. Manager, big question mark. Huge question mark. And just on the squad, I think they're maybe just a tad too young. They haven't played together that national team long enough. You got a few, yeah, new names. Where you got Watkins, Palmer. No, which we'll get, get into, into it. Later. We'll get into get that. Into but, it later. but we're going to say nah for for me. What well, about you? you I'm saying nah as well because it's England. It's a tournament, so of course they don't bring <laughs> football home. It's just you they've know. only ever won one Tom, major tournament. 1966. <laughs> so yeah. Are any of those guys still playing? 1966? No. Oh. Anyway, so we broke up all of these groups. So one of us covered each of the group, the six groups across the tournament. So Group A, headlined by Germany with Scotland, Hungary, and Switzerland all in there. This was the stats guy. It was. Uh, we've got one of the closest groups in terms of world rankings. You've got Germany 16th, Scotland 39th, Hungary 26th, Switzerland 19th. So all Germany up Germany down at 16th? Yeah. Uh, Germ- they, it's because of the World Cup in, uh, in 2022, which I was just about to say. 22, 2022 World Cup, they didn't even make it out of the group stage. Yeah. Didn't help. They started off uh, after that tournament. Just it was probably a three month period where they were just getting a lot of draws, not wins. But the last Previous. six months or so, they've been awesome. Uh, Since strong. Nagelsmann's come on board, yeah, they've yeah. been scoring a lot of goals. The only worry about this German team I've written in here, sort of a weakness, is their defense. They conceded more uh, goals than they scored in these qualifiers, which is a bit of a worry. You've got Rudiger, who I absolutely love as a Chelsea fan. I used to love uh, watching. Love him. him. Killed it at Real Madrid. Uh, just been awesome wherever he goes. But other than that, having a look at their squad. Not too sure about their yeah, centre backs and things like that. You got Kimmich on the right, which is he's a great player as well. But in terms of actual defence, I'm a little bit worried about Germany. I don't know how you guys see yeah. their squad. I don't, I'm just a, yeah, just on the left hand side really. Mm. Left hand, left hand side of defence that's the only real issue. Yeah, in that mm. squad. But I actually like it. It's like in the previous Euros, they really struggled as well, didn't they? They played. They got knocked out against England. Yeah. Um, in the round of sixteen. Yeah. But they weren't great either. So I oh, know they have underperformed. I'm, I'm actually yeah. expecting big things. Yeah, big things. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm expecting a big thing just because yeah. of uh, Alex's man, our former man, uh, being Chelsea fans. Kai Havertz, he's been absolutely awesome. Don't want to give him too he much. He scores credit. for Germany though. He's, really, he's, been, he's been great him. for Germany. Well, I'll play him up front. This thing's yeah, saying they played him at. Um, didn't they play him at right wing back? Or left back. Left back. Yeah, yeah. yeah left back. Well, I, I wouldn't mind seeing him at left back. That'd be pretty funny. You got uh, Florian Wirtz, who was probably one of the best players in the uh, Bundesliga. Bundesliga. He was absolutely awesome. Just guys that are coming into their career best form, which is what Germany need. And as Marcus mentioned, he's wearing the kit. I think they're going to be really good on home soil, just in their home grounds, home crowds. talked about Musiala. Musiala, that's yeah, what I wrote in here, is the pace on the counter-attack. You got Musiala, Havertz, and Wirtz are just going to be absolutely tearing it up on the counter-attack. I'm thinking on, on the field as well. Yeah, I'm imagining, I'm imagining probably Sane will start I think he will, yeah, I think he'll I think he'll start Ooh, and then Musiala really? might come yeah. on as an impact yeah. sub. I wouldn't be surprised with okay. that. Yeah. So, yeah, I think they'll go really well. Uh, they're gonna, they, I think a final appearance is probably what they're aiming for. I think that's a pass mark for this team just because home – 
Uh, it's a home tournament. They're going to be dominant with the home crowds, and I think they'll lift with that. So that'll be mm. really, really interesting. Right. Keep it rolling, stats guys. Scotland. Oh, Scotland. Scotland. Oh, my uh, homeland. Never made it out of the group stage, but this is their best chance. I think uh, only their fourth Euro appearance, but they were awesome in qualifying. I don't remember it. Don't uh, know if you guys remember, but the McTerminator. McTominay was awesome. He had yep. seven goals, one assist in eight games. Scored a double against Norway and Spain when they beat uh, both Norway and Spain. So that was part of the reason Norway didn't make it. Poor uh, Odegaard, Alex's man. And, uh, the yeah, yeah, Harland. Yeah, Harland. <laughs> I honestly am so happy Norway didn't make it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why? Because uh, Odegaard's just going like, to chill in June. He's That's why I'm happy that Rhys James didn't get picked in the England squad. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah, ben White just vibing up. somewhere. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but yeah, Cosmic McTominay, they've been awesome. The only worry yeah. is their attack. I think this lineup, predicted lineup, has McGinn at... at like striker, that's they, not going to happen. They do play McTominay up front as well. Yeah, yeah. This McTomin isn't a yeah. bad lineup. It's a good line. You got McGinn, McTominay, yeah. uh, Gilmore, who's I still think is a solid player. You got Robertson, who's obviously the captain. Kieran Turney has always Teeny. been pretty. Tierney has been really solid as well. So yeah, good good players on the wings of fullbacks. Not many centre backs due to injury. I uh, read a few articles about that. Yeah. So their attack and their defense is a bit of a worry. Yep. But their midfield is going to be awesome. I think that's going to uh, yeah help yeah. them get out they, of the group stage. They have a lot of Premier League experience in this yeah. squad, like yeah. Robertson, Tierney, the goalkeeper Gun, yep. uh, Billy Gilmore, Gilmore. McTominay, McGinn. Their and then defense they've got is going to be McGregor's nice solid. He's the uh, Scottish captain, uh, Celtic captain, yeah. which I absolutely they, love. So they still they still got like Shea Adams on the bench, mm. Adam Armstrong, who just scored in the playoff final. Yep. Mm. They got some Greg some Taylor players, from yeah. Celtic. A lot of Celtic. Ryan players. Christie. Yeah, mm. They're not easy beats. No, I no. think this is going to be one of the closest groups because uh, yeah. yeah, Scotland will be all right. Next one there is Hungary. Four Euros appearances. They've made it out of the group stage in three of the four appearances, which Wild. is really surprising. Yeah. Uh, you've got who? Who was I going to say? Sobers Lie, obviously their best player. He he sort of has to track back. Alex is shrugging his shoulders there that he's mm. not too. He's played really well for Hungary. Yeah, he's yeah. got a couple of bangers. But yeah. geez, for all the hype around him in the EPL season. How come he, he wasn't? Off. How come he, he wasn't off. talked up as a flop of the year? That's true. We didn't. True. I didn't even think about him. Given how much he was paid, they yeah. paid for him. He was. He was floppy. Yeah, he, he was, was, up he was there. floppy. Yeah. He was up there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that got a laugh behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know what he was talking about. There. Undefeated in qualifying, uh, Hungary, which is really good. Five wins, three draws. Defeated and drew with Germany. Yeah, so that, that's a great uh, outcome. And yeah. although I'm saying Scotland will probably come out of this group, Hungary, I think are going to be the ones they're going to be challenging. And yep. yeah, pretty good attack. They they were really strong, averaging two plus goals in qualifying. So they're going to be, I'm going to say third for me in, the, in this group. Then we're finishing off with Switzerland. Still really good. They made it out of the group stage. Uh, and the last Euros, they made it to the quarterfinals, this team. I think they're going to be a little bit uh, relying on Shaka and Shakiri. Shakiri's 32 now, I believe. The meatball, what are they yeah, call the, the, the meatball. human meatballs, yeah. Shakiri. But their defensive lineup's not too bad with yeah. the Kanji and Shah. Like, so the, yeah, their defense, they period. scored double the amount of goals that they conceded in qualifying, which was the only team uh, to do that. So they were really mm. good in uh, in defense. So they'll be okay, but I'm just worried about who's going to be scoring all their goals. you got Vargas, who is probably, how, how old is he? Is he still younger? I'm you were all over Mbolo in the World Cup. I was. Actually, he's not even in this starting lineup, is he's he? On the squad. He's on the squad. Yeah, I think he'll be in the starting lineup and score a few goals. But since the World Cup, he hasn't yeah. been in amazing form. Just a lot of guys that, I don't know, are coming into this tournament out of form, except for Shaka. He was great at uh, Leverkusen, your old man uh, from Arsenal, Alex. He so, had a great final season. Yeah. He was great start at Leverkusen. It was the right time to move on. And then yeah. he's, they've lost one game all season. And he's yeah. been like a pivotal part of that. Yeah. So I'm going uh, Germany and Scotland. I just think Scotland are like the X-Factor okay. team. They're going to concede a few goals, but they know how to... Just they'll get a few. It would be very high scoring games, like a lot of three, two, three all sort of games. Cool. Against Scotland, Germany are the clear. They're going to cruise to this group, group, I think. Yeah. But Scotland, it'll be out of Scotland and Hungary for that second spot. I really, I really, I really like Switzerland as well. Yeah, um, the defensive mind in midfield. Mm. Uh, very mm. like uh, Dennis Zakaria. He played at Chelsea on loan. He was. A bit. He was. He, I really actually, good, I actually like rate him. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. They've. Yeah, just up front, the front three. I think a lot of Euro squads are struggling with front three yeah. conversion. Yeah. I'm happy to say I reckon Hungary will finish last in this group. That'll Ooh, be my... So who are you going top two? Should we go top two for each group? Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah, for Germany the, for clearly, and I'll go. I'll say Scotland second as well. Nice. That's, I need to get yeah, that kit, actually. That, that yeah. purple kit I really need to get. Yeah. You do. Yeah. All right, let's get to Group B. This was yours, Marcus. Spain, <laughs> Croatia, is, Italy, yes. Albania. Unlucky Albania, you're going to come last. Isn't it? Yeah, this, is, <laughs> this is undoubtedly the group of death. But also, no, best performing third teams do make it through to the knockout stages as yeah, well. Yeah, I think I about that. Yeah. Four, of the, four of the best third place finishes. Yeah. So Switzerland, possibly. Yeah, yeah but we're just going to go with top two, whereas you're progress, more than yeah. likely thinking that one of these teams will be one of the best performed thirds. Oh, I'm or, not sure. Not if they're coming up against the tough team. It's, it's hard it to predict, yeah. 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 
Um, yeah, well, Spain, Croatia, Italy, Albania, Spain, eighth, Croatia, tenth, Italy, ninth, Albania, 66th in how, the world how rankings. Have you, have you got eighth, ninth, and tenth, and then 66? How, how does that work in the, uh, how do they, how do they pick it out of it? I think, um, who seeded poorly? I think it was Italy. Yeah. Italy seeded poorly. They struggled. Yeah. Because didn't they miss the last Euros? No, 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 the really, um, no, it was the Netherlands. Well, oh, you've got no three way. in the top 10 in group B yeah. and none in the top 10 in group A. That is crazy. Yeah. Anyway. Well, Germany's host get it because they go they and it's, host, it's like yeah. you go in pot A, yeah, pot yeah. B, pot C, pot D. Still, that's that's yeah. crazy. Anyway. Anyway, so we'll start off with Spain. They're three times winners. Uh, they were semi-finalists in Euro 2020 against Italy, obviously yep. the eventual champions. Uh, they're probably the favourites, I'd say, to top this group. Um, yeah, but yeah still, they are. They are. Yeah. Still one or two tournaments away from actually competing. There's something um, that's missing in this team for me just looking at it. I'm just like, I don't know what it is, but there's something it's the front, missing. It's the front three. I think oh, they, yeah. they need another probably, a old, right yeah. winger. Hello, um, Marta. Hello, <laughs> It's bloody Marta. Marta. <laughs> they've, they've got a pretty old squad. They've got eight players uh, over the age of 30. So yeah, Really? Right. Yeah, yeah, so you think of that of starting lineup through, is, is still... Carver Hull's old as hell. Laporte's old as hell. Rodri's Simon getting there. Old. Yeah. Yep. Marotta's getting on there. Yeah. Cucurella's um, on the bench. <laughs> hey, he I, love, right. I love the hey, get him in the inverted role and yes, he's, get him he's, a striker. Yeah. Nah. He's <laughs> prime Balak, mate. <laughs> yeah, also, no, Gavi obviously did his knee. So. Yeah, that's that's a big out. Uh, they play possession based football, and I expect them to do the same against Spain, uh, against Italy, yep. Croatia, particularly Albania. But yeah, it's just that front three where I'm sort of lacking. Nico Williams on the left, mm -hmm. he's uh, a bit gun. of flair, get a bit of yeah. pace. I like uh, him, really yeah. like him. Um, and in the midfield, they just got like players, Rodri in that midfield. Oh. Just completely changes just, this team. Without Rodri, I'd say they, they wouldn't get out of this group, but with yeah. Rodri... I'd He's just going to dictate everything like he does for City. It's ridiculous. The yeah. one thing he, we saw at the World Cup, where you said possession-based football, they had a lot of shots, but then didn't convert. They, I think they had a couple of they games... Had that where they had one game like where they won like 8-0. Yeah, 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 other yeah. than that game, they had a lot, like this game, a couple of games where they have 30 shots and like one goal. They yeah, they struggled to score yeah. at least two goals a game. But they still yeah. have like Ferran Torres who can... Who, yep. who can start? Super Mendy. Yep. Uh, Josh Alou has been awesome in the uh, Champions League. Yeah. He drags the average age <laughs> yeah. wide. Yeah, he's yeah. pretty old as well. Yeah. Uh, I think you know Simon, the keeper, mm. who's in the particular lineup, is 39. David Raya should be probably starting. I think David Raya should start, yeah. Um, yeah, Danny Olmo as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts in midfield mm. as well. So yep. uh, they got some good experience there in that squad. And Pedri rules as well. Like, he's great. Yeah, he's watch. a great player. Yeah. yeah. And then um, we'll move on to Croatia. They've yep. never won this tournament. Um, but they're always the dark horse, aren't yeah, they? Can we stop every saying time. they're underrated? Like, they're properly <laughs> rated now for the last decade. It's like 10 years, yeah. <laughs> They've been really good. I'll agree with that. Since that the one. 2016 World Cup, yeah. wasn't it? When yeah. they, they did really well. Um, but they're, historically, they've been actually really bad in the oh, Euros. Really? Yeah. Um, your name is covering that uh, on the thing, but best Sorry. finish is the 2008, uh, in 2008, where they reached the quarterfinals, which yeah. is... Not great. Um, As they finished the round of sixteen. I struggle to see tournaments. them scoring goals. Yeah, similarly, I think um, with a lot of lot of squads, uh, striker wise, they're they're struggling. Um, probably Petkovic is probably start. Uh, Kramaric is can also play at striker who's out on the right. But again, it's another sort of aging squad. With well, this Guardiol, is Modric's last tournament. Guardiola drops the average age because yeah. he's oh. like the only one. Younger than 23 in the squad. Talking about Modric, someone on the TikTok I did about Euros <laughs> it was like bagging me saying, oh, he doesn't know anything. Modric isn't even playing. I was like, <laughs> he definitely is playing because the Teresa need need Modric. So yeah. shout out to that guy that doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, I feel like they've got decent... Fan. I feel like they've got decent midfield depth. they got uh, Mario Pasolic, who was mm -hmm. formerly a Chelsea youngster. Um, he's been out right. at Atalanta. He's mm -hmm. been doing good things. But yeah, front three. Like, who's going to score those goals when they most need it? I think... Especially Perisic has lifted in the in big tournaments, but again, yeah, he's, he's getting like, old. <laughs> he's like 32 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same as Cameron. So yeah. they, they'll need goals from midfield, I think, yeah. Mm. All think, right, move on, Italy. Yeah. <laughs> Croatia struggling. Italy. Italy, two times winners. Obviously, previous winner, um, yeah. but they have under Returning champs. Returning champs. Returning yeah. champs, yeah. yeah. They, they did win the last Euros, but you'd probably say they've underperformed in the past Since decade. Then, yeah, they yeah. as a nation. World Cup. They no. haven't made, Surely, made like, if you win the Asian Cup, the Euros, the Copper America, you, like, you automatically qualify for the next I World Cup. I thought they would, but... That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. that's a good Hi, idea. Hey, FIFA, UEFA, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me <available>. on. <laughs> well, since 2000, they've played... Cup in... of Nations as well. Got to, got to oh, think yeah. of everyone. Yeah. Yeah, of yeah. course, of course. Uh, since 2000, uh, Italy have made three Euros finals. Wow. Um, so, so they're two and one. 
they're one and two. Oh, two you and said one. they won twice. No, no. before 2000, they won the second uh, time. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They're, they're they've one just and two. had really since good form since 2000, yeah. yeah. In Euros. In Europe. They struggled they, in qualifiers, though, didn't they? They did. They progressed as the third seed. So, Ooh, that's um, lucky. Well, luckily, four, we mentioned this, four of the best uh, third place teams still progress. But since Spalletti's come in as manager after leading Napoli to the Serie A title, first in 30 years, yeah, yeah. Um, they've been a lot better. But again, scoring is another issue mm-hmm. uh, in this group. Uh, their, their top goal scorer in qualifying was Inter Milan midfielder Davide Fratesi with three goals. Whew, only so, three goals, that's it. Yeah, and yeah. They're, they're lacking a lot of experience that they they missed in the last Euros. Yeah. No Chiellini, no Benucci, those centre halves, and no Chiro Mobile either up yeah, top. Yeah, so, right. I don't, I'm not, I'm not vibing this Italian squad. No, I, Scamacca was poor. But like he's been injured for a while, but he's finally back in the team. See if Chiesa can do it. Raspadori on the right wing doesn't really not known for his goal scoring. Mm. But again, like Jorginho's getting on now. Um, but Bastoni So is this really the group of death or just a group of meh? It's, yeah, it's a group, of old, a group guys. of meh. It's a group of old guys that are just, still, if they can play close to their best, like they're obviously not going to be These are like the dudes you want to sit around with a beer with and watch <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon around yeah. the fire bucket and be like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, with, uh, what's his name? Uh, told, Chiesa. I, I yeah. reckon Buongiorno. No pun intended. But that that's a great, his, that's that his a great name. Um, great name. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually gets some minutes throughout this tournament. Yep. I think he's an up and coming youngster to look out for. Okay. Cool. okay. And we'll go to Albania to finish off. Oh, group best flag C. in the group. <laughs> They've only participated <laughs> in one Euros in their history uh, in 2016. Respect. They didn't make it out of the group. So they got no expectations, <laughs> particularly in this group as well. Um, so as long as they just go out and have a crack, know, have a crack and make a game of themselves. They qualified as group winners, however, against in the group with Poland and the Czech Republic. So That's, Lewandowski's yeah, Poland. They're good, good teams, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. But in 2022, one. they just had one win from 11 games. But since oh. Slovenia took over as manager oh. in the beginning of 2023, they've won five of then five of nine, losing just one. Good man. Ooh, okay. So he's, he's done really, he's done wonders for that Albanian squad. Uh, but Jasir Asani, he's one to watch. He plays his club, club football in South Korea. And he's dominated the qualifiers. A little left footer on the right Whoa. wing. Loves to cut in. Love a left footer. Love on a right curler. Wing. So yep. um, keep an eye out for him in yeah, this okay. group stage. Yeah, okay. nice. I don't mind it. Oh, we got Bro- Broyo as well. I mean, no Broyo. I forgot yeah. about him playing for Who's been struggling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who makes it out of this group? I think the Spanish top bet from yeah. Italy. Oh, yeah, I agree. Um... I'm gonna. I just love this Croatian team because I love all the old guys. The old guys are gonna get it done. Modric will say, "I've still got it, guys." So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Spain and then Croatia. Yep. I don't hate that. The midfield's so good, yeah. Croatia. Mm. Uh, let's get across to Group C. Uh, not the deepest of groups uh, for the Poms to contend with, but it won't be a walk in the park either. They are ranked fourth from Denmark, twenty first, Serbia, thirty third, and Slovenia. 48th. I did mine in alphabetical order because I'm a bit different. So we will start <laughs> off with Denmark, who won their group uh, to qualify for this. They scored uh, 19 goals, conceded 10 across qualifying. Semi finalists in 2020. They were actually champions back in 1992. Um, really? They scored 12 goals in the 2020 tournament, which is their most ever, despite winning it in 1992. So mm. you sort of have a look there. There's a bit of youth, a bit of experience there. Ericsson back after the heart issue he had in you know, 2021. But I was Euro watching that line. Never been more scared watching a sport. Mm. Yeah, that was so weird. Yep. But you just have a look there. You're sort of like you're relying on Hoyland to really step up, sort of like what he did in the Champions League to score a bunch of goals for Denmark. Yep. And even, you know, wind, not sort of bad, but you look, Joachim Anderson, Ericsson, yeah, no, Holberg. Yeah. And Jensen, you know, they're probably the top names. Also, Cash with Michael. Mm. He's probably their starting keeper, but they're going to probably play pretty defensively and look to catch teams on the counter. Yep. Andreas Christensen as well. Yeah, great for Barcelona. Chelsea yeah, and, and Barca, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I just have a look at them and I'm just like, oh, you, they're going to have to win a lot of their games 1-0 to try and sort of get through. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, they, yeah, they play five at the back, so mm. that, yeah, they'll definitely very, def- def- very defensive, yeah. Mm. Mm. With, with Hoiberg in that DM role. And, um, but Norgaard's yeah. doing good things. Yeah, yeah, he's going all right. Like, and Ericsson just with, the, with with a bit of the flair we've seen, we'll suppose that Manchester United link up with Hoyland will really help him too. Oh, surely Hoyland, Kasper Dolberg up top, two youngsters, two young Danes. So you're going Dolberg yeah. instead of Wind. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Don't mind that, don't mind that. Kit rating, more importantly. Oh, three out of ten. You're doing a kit rating? <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did a kit rating for all of them. Three out of ten. <laughs> Alex loves his kits. Love my kits. Three out of ten. You're not like three. Out, no, didn't vibe that. Didn't vibe it whatsoever. I do think they're going to. I do think they're going to struggle. I don't think they'll get out of the group personally. Ooh, yeah. I don't mind their team, but yeah, you're right. Not big it's on very them. defensive, and even this uh, predicted lineup here has five in defence. So yeah. that's not that's not great. All right, let's get to it. The Poms, uh, oh. they were great in qualifying. Twenty two goals for uh, for against. They won their group pretty easily, but. Honestly, it's 
Everyone's expecting them to win, but also at the same time, everyone else is expecting them to absolutely bottle it because <laughs> yeah. it's England. Everyone wants them to bottle it. It's They've never won this tournament because they just don't win. They'll run us up in 2020. Let's not forget, Bakara Saka wasn't the only one to miss a penalty. Rashford also missed one too. And Jaden Sancho. <laughs> yes. And Sancho, yeah. They've been third <laughs> twice. They've got the squad. They've got the depth. This squad is nuts, by the way. I'm just looking at it. It is, yeah. uh, it is amazing. <laughs> but, Gar- <laughs> but Gareth Southgate, hmm, the, dude in, the dude in charge, doesn't make the right decisions because it's like defensively is sort of where they're going to have their problems. It's like, mm-hmm. how do they pick their best defensive four? Southgate will find a way to stuff it up because <laughs> then you have yep. a look up front. You sort of definites. You say Harry Kane up front mm-hmm. with Saka, Bellingham and Declan Rice. They're the definites. Foden, mm-hmm. I think, is definite as well. He's such a freak. But that's it. Is it Foden? Is it Maynu? Is it Palmer? Palmer? Is it Gordon? I think oh, has to be Foden. Yeah, I'd I think it has to be Foden, be Foden as well. But Palmer, they might rotate... Foden and Palmer, like throughout the tournament, and then Manu is unstoppable even for England. He's scoring Depends, a lot they of goals. Because they, because they're struggling with at left back so much, they yeah. could play th- a three at the back. Oh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm scared. Uh, Gareth Southgate's going to do. He's going to play. Why three isn't at the Trent? Back. Why isn't <sighs> just put Watkins in defence? Didn't he? Maguire, to play Stones, <laughs> Walker. But they, yeah, I don't know. You got Kieran Trippier is the most out of form back in world football at the moment as well. Yep. Yeah, that. I think he deserves to be in the squad because he's had and great all, tournaments for England. A but, lot of it yeah. all hinges on if Luke if Luke Shaw's fit, he's going to play because Gareth Southgate loves yeah, playing Luke Shaw. He's shocking. Yeah. Yeah. Look, let's get this wrong. England not winning the last Euros was... They should have. Yeah, they chance. were the best team and uh, they choked. Well, well there should have been a couple of yellow... the easiest run. There was, was a couple of ground. yellow cards that Italy... Sh- that should have been turned into reds that Italy should have got an extra time. I that was oh, crazy, yeah. I don't care. They had they had three shots after they so went up 1-0 in two minutes. Yeah. They had three shots to Italy's 25th and just sat back yeah. at home. That's England. But yeah, this, That's is, this, is, <laughs> this is the tournament they... They've just got to win. Anything other than a victory is a failure for the, the English coming into this tournament. Mm-hmm. Um... Like that's that's all there is to say there, isn't it, about England? Yeah, I think just because it's on paper, but as we've uh, seen throughout all of our lives, you get sometimes England have the best team on paper and it doesn't always click. So yeah, it has yeah. been clicking in the, the qualifiers, probably the best it's been in a long time. So that's why yeah. the favourites, yeah. It's, yeah, you've got Declan Rice and Jude Bellingham who are just in great form. Harry Kane, like despite all the lol, Harry Kane didn't win another It time. was amazing, yeah. He scored Bundesliga every goal record. humanly possible. But yeah. Kaya Sacker and Phil Foden were the two best players in the Prem this year. And then it's just like the back, you're just like, oh, that's... I'm actually, I'm actually worried at centre half. Yeah, mm. like really, like Maguire. Look, he plays well for England, but you don't know what you're every every him tournament sometimes. you head into. There's John a Stones mark. hasn't been starting. John every Stones game. has been injured. Who else they got on the bench? Gomez mm. hasn't. Branthway is starting every. Hasn't made his debut yet. Yeah. Now I know it's. Would you feel a bit more comfortable if they had like Ben White at right back as well, just for a bit of stability uh, there? Oh, well, they got Kyle Walker. Yeah. I think Kyle Walker's still a jet. So yeah. right back and I'm not too worried about the fullbacks. I'm more like centre centre half. Half. They could yeah. play Trent at right back even though they won't. Like they have so many right back options. Reese James. It's ridiculous. Like, he's not even in the squad. He's not in the squad, but they've also got to cut down their squad because obviously they had their um Plano, like they named like a hundred and seventy five men <laughs> yeah. squad. Yeah, they named like thirty odd players and they've got to cut that down to twenty six next got an week. English passport. Yeah, so good on. job. Yeah, just coming over. So yeah. Gareth Southgate, you'll screw it up. Uh, positive is against all these teams that they're playing against, they have ridiculously positive win loss records. Yeah. Or win draw yeah. loss. But they have uh, a, a tough if they make it out of this group, it's a tough yeah. final straw. So you have a look against Denmark, 40, 41 goals for, 24 against. Against Serbia, 25 for, 21 against, which was surprising. Uh and then against Slovenia, 10 for four against. Uh kit rating for the Poms in this tournament is eight out of ten. Oh, I like their uh, the dark the dark navy yeah. one. That is awesome with the gold yeah. logo. That's, that's now, beautiful. Now let's get across to Serbia. I reckon this this is the team that's going to surprise in the tournament. They've got some absolute ballers, and I also don't want to run into them in a dark alley on a Sunday. No, night. there's some scary <laughs> guys. Like, Dude, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were they were their runners up in Group G, but Mitrovic up front with Vlad. Vla- I'm, I'm not just going to screw it up. Marcus, please say it for me. Vla- just Vla- slide Vla- my tongue. Vlahovic. Vla- slide my tongue with Luka Jokic and. Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I've lost it. Milinkovic Savage. <laughs> oh, Milinkovic Savage. Pavlovic, Kostic. I've literally just choked on my tongue. Uh, Petrovic, will he start in goals? Uh, oh, I'd love to see him start in goals. Well, the last great to- season. The last tournaments oh. was uh, Milinkovic Savage. The two brothers yeah. always yeah, like to start on the same team. But mm. Petrovic was awesome for Chelsea, so mm. I hope he, hope he starts. Yeah. Um, they have not played in this tournament since the year 2000, and that was when really? they were Yugoslavia at slash yeah. Serbia and Montenegro. Right. And this is the first time they are playing as an independent nation. That's right, yeah. They won, well, that, they won that year as, as well, I'm pretty sure. In they, uh, they, they, they have, because the I wrote that in another team. 
Yugoslavia. Oh, I'm not thinking of something. Else. No, I'm thinking of Czechoslovakia. Don't yeah. worry. That's going to start. Some <laughs> <Some arguments. laughs> Sorry. Keep going. These, start, these just... dudes. That guy just started a war. <laughs> no, 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 no. These yeah. dudes have the biggest heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, just looking at it. Like, they, are, long, man. they are a scary team. Yeah, like, you just look at them and just like, the stare down's like, suck. Yeah, there's no smiles in these. They're also a very old team, though. Bit of youth. Yeah. Really, I think I reckon they'll be fun as hell to watch. I reckon they're going to score a bunch of goals, mm -hmm. and they're going to be very stout yeah. defensively. If they play five at the back, good luck getting through them. Yeah, yeah. I'll, well, actually, I think they'll play three at the back, yeah. and then like with the wing backs because Philip Kostic yeah. is naturally a winger. Yeah, so I think he can press up, uh, bomb forward. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm all over Serbia to be the runners up in this group for sure. Yeah, their kit rating though, five out of ten. Oh, not great. Not great. Oh, that's all right. Move across to Slovenia. Uh, they were the Group H runners up. Benjamin Sesko, please sign your contract for Arsenal in the next <laughs> week because I know you're going to score 15 goals in this tournament. And then he's passing goal. Yeah. yeah, we will link to him as well. Actually, yeah. Chelsea, Chelsea will... are linked to Come anyone on. who's got a release clause. <laughs> we'll well, we're him. not getting Osman awesome anymore. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but Sesko, raw talent. Yeah, yeah he's, looks he's like great. he's going to be an absolute jet in the coming years. Mm -hmm. This could be that tournament where everyone's like, yeah, in four years' time when they're back here because they don't seem a team that's going to make a World Cup. They're going to be like, yeah, this is the dude. And that's like mm -hmm. the what Haaland is for Norway at the moment. It's like, all right, if we can put the country on his back, he may drag us through. Uh, but Jan Oblak, who's about 187 years old in goals, he gives him a good base. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're really good at the back. They're pretty good at the front. In between, not so sure. But they did, uh, yeah. they did beat Portugal in a friendly. Um which, like, oh, yeah, they're not easy beats, but they lost to Malta. So it's like, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, that's just mm. being consistent. Yeah. Um, so you just sort of look through them. There's nothing that really stands out, but there's nothing that really goes, oh, you're going to be terrible. Yeah, I think they'll finish bottom. Okay. But I, think I think so be, too. but I think they're going to be tough to beat. It's not like, you know, how you see some teams turn up and just get belted through the tournament. Mm. They're not going to get belted. They'll still score some goals. Maybe a draw yep. or two, but still yeah. at the bottom, yeah. This could this could be, definitely be the group where it's uh, – Third place finish goes through. Yeah. This is yeah, where, true. where someone like, yeah, where if Serbia doesn't do that, it's Denmark where Denmark gets through because maybe Slovenia do lose all, all of their matches, but it's like they're four and, they're four and against. They score a couple of goals every game. Mm -hmm. uh, kit rating, zero out of 10. Zero out of 10. Horrendous. I haven't seen Slovenia's kit. Zero out of 10. Horrendous. Yeah, I'm having a look at it now. It is oh, I don't mind the away kit with the blue. No, no, I, I actually, it just looks like I'd wear that in indoor yeah. all that my mates yeah, would It looks great. terrible. <laughs> all right. So for me, I think England go through this group with Serbia second. Oh, who you got, Marcus? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go, yeah, I agree. And then third, Denmark, fourth. Yeah. I th I'm going England and Denmark. I think Denmark's team's not too bad. Hoyland will score a lot of goals. Eric Eriksen's still good. Hoiberg. Yep. It is going to be interesting how attacking that midfield. Bunch plays, of old but, dudes. But they're old dudes. Mm. Hoyland is just he's underrated. Yeah. So I'm going to yeah I'm going to go Denmark. Not underrated. Second. He's properly rated. <laughs> Manchester United paid 111 billion dollars or how much they ever paid for him <laughs> yep. for a dude who scored nine goals in the league last year. And what did they get? Was a it? dude who yeah. scored nine goals but in the league. It wasn't his his fault. They, they didn't. How many goals did he him. score? Stats guy. If he, was, if he was at Arsenal. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> One extra, you lucky luck. But if Garnacho wasn't offside that day, you never know. It could have been more. Anyway, yeah. I reckon they can go second. Why not? Yeah. Anyway, all right. That is the first half of the Euro 2024 preview show done and dusted. Later in the week, the second half of the show will be out. But check out football today for some of the fun videos that we've got up there at the moment. Starts going on yelling about the Matildas Olympic squad. Some conjecture amongst the uh, crew there, shall we say. Pretty accurate. Uh, send in any questions, any thoughts that you've got on these videos. Leave a comment. Just get below. Make sure you subscribe and like on YouTube. But we are done and dusted. Cheers, Stats Guy. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Cheers. Shout out to social gal Spence behind the camera. Not that jerk Leo is somewhere overseas at the moment, especially Gerald behind the camera. Catch you later in the week for the second half of the Euro 2024 preview show.